guys and welcome to my channel if you're new or welcome back if you've been here before let's just address the elephant in the room my nail is broken it looks ridiculous but okay so this is a homeware haul so obviously we're not properly moved in so we don't have everything that we need but this is just kind of what we've got so far so we've bought as we've needed so cups and plates and saucers and knives and forks was kind of you know most important and then as we've seen that we've needed things then we've added to the list so so i'm gonna start with some of the stuff that i had already so these plates i bought from mr price home two years ago sure was it really that long ago um i just like them because of the the detailing i think this embossing is really cool the color is quite loud now <laughs> that i look back so they're not my favorite but i bought six so just gonna live with it so that was okay so in the beginning we had plates <laughs> so we could eat and then the next thing that we needed was bowls so i bought these bowls from checkers not because i was like in love with them but just because they were the best that they had and we were doing like our big like monthly shopping and we needed bowls and they had the plain whites on the inside and they've got this like detail here on the side kind of like rustic african style so i just got four of these like cereal bowls soup bowl vibes and then these mugs i needed mugs as well so i really like these because of the the detailing um the this is like embossed so you can feel it on the mug and they like a cool beige color and they're a nice size they're not too big but they're not small so this is just like normal coffee cup size so i bought four i think yeah i've got four so when people come over and we're having coffee then i use these mugs We used to think that Mr. Price Home is like be all in all of homeware. Guys, check us hyper in Somerset. Those, um, the by the tools, they have those tables with like stuff that are marked down. It is worth going to look at those tables. So basically all my homeware I bought from checkers and if you do not know about Pep Home, you are sleeping because Pep Home is like, so I didn't even know we had a Pep Home in Somerset West. We do. It's in Somerset West Main Road. So it's not, there, there always has been a Pep in Somerset West Main Road, but it's not that Pep. That Pep is still a Pep clothing shop. So Pep Home is just up from the Labour, the Department of Labour or whatever, just further up from that is the Pep Home. So you always out, baby, but you never answer Cause I busy with the others Ooh, ooh I put those, those are when you really love me But those things were really far away Ooh, ooh You think I'm a hope, but I'm not responders I think that you don't care And I honestly wonder so this rustic style is super in right now and this beautiful um what do you call this color periwinkle this periwinkle color so i only got two and then this one like this is so beautiful so it's got the embossed here on the side and on the inside and the shape is just so cool it's a little bit big at the bottom and then it slants in a bit at the top and big handles so you can fit all your fingers in which is nice i mean like these I think these were the same price. This one that I got from Checkers was the same price as this. This one is way cooler than this one. So Bleak that I didn't know about Mr. Pro uh, that I didn't know about Pip before I bought these. But these are kind of more standard. I don't know if everyone likes drinking out of these cups. But bitch, when you're in my house, you will drink whatever I give you. Whatever cup I give it to you in. <laughs> 
I like pretty things so I bought one for me <laughs> because Palmer doesn't drink coffee really Palmer, I mean if we go out he'll have a cappuccino but Palmer doesn't really drink coffee so I like drinking in nice mugs so I bought one for me <laughs> So these two mugs are from the Pep Home in Paul. The same shape, that like elongated, like really beautiful. And these ones were even cheaper, 15 Rand. Um, yeah, so, and, and unfortunately this one's a little bit darker the other way around I can't tell on camera but yeah so I was just gonna get one for myself and then Taylor was like no but if she wants to come for coffee she also wants one of these nice mugs so I got two so I have two of these as well <laughs> so the other things I got from Pep Home this bowl I think it's a soup bowl but it's quite big so in comparison to this one it's much flatter and wider, so it probably has the same volume, <laughs> but um, it's again just got this beautiful rustic pattern inside. It's like matte grey on the outside and then this eggshell blue kind of pattern on the inside, also 15 Rand. Um, and this one I want to, you know, for like a chip bowl or biscuits or something, so I only bought one of these. And then I love this plate. How cool is that? Oh, that's, I must say, that's the one thing about Pep is that, or any anywhere when you're buying homeware, is you really need to stand in the shop and check that there's no little dangikis like this. Oh, where was it now? There, this. No little tipikis or like funny lines and stuff. Um, because, I mean, it, it was what, this was 19 Rand, so like it's not the end of the world if it's got a chip in it, but you know, I only bought one because I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I just wanted one because it's beautiful. So <laughs> I bought one of these. And then because I don't, so those, the plates that I showed you the first time from Mr. Price, I don't really like them, but like obviously we don't wanna waste. So I just bought two of these, so for Palmer and I dinner plates. Also that same like rustic kind of style, you can see that it's got a bit of like a, um, bubbly acidy kind of thing here and then the dark color around the outsides and this was 22 rand so i just bought two of these so like dinner dinner plates this boring just a microwave um bowl like a big bowl i don't know like i'd just be needing a microwave bowl so the only thing is it doesn't say <laughs> it was microwave safe so we wait and see <laughs> if it cracks in the microwave. <laughs> These beautiful bowls um, they had at the Somerset West Pep and the Pep um, in Paul. Um, I really like the the texture. I just thought they're really cool like cereal bowls. Um, if you're doing like a nice smoothie bowl with muesli and cool stuff, then they're very like aesthetic and pretty. So I actually only bought one. And then I thought, okay, because I was like, Palmer doesn't care about what bowl <laughs> he eats his cereal out of. But then I thought, okay, but if Taylor comes over and we have smoothie bowls, then Taylor can also have a nice pretty bowl. So I bought, so I bought one in Thomas West and I bought another one in um, Paul. And then these I bought also um, from Checkers. So this was on that that um, stand that I was telling you about, the like marked down stuff. So also this like rustic kind of style. These are just side plates. So I bought four of these. Then these little bowls, I also, again, I just like them because of the texture. So I got two of these, they were 10 Rand each. So these I can see like, you know, if you're watching rugby and you have like biltong and peanuts, then I bought these cute little bowls. I wanna buy like lots of different ones so that was kind of my my theory with all of these like 
mix and match type of thing. So these two don't go together, but this is so beautiful. I had to buy it. This was 12 Rand. Like really cool. It's um, matte white on the outside and this pink on the inside. And like with things like this, I actually like this I could put next to my bed like this to put like my earrings or my rings or whatever in or my hair ties. 10 rand or okay 12 rand. This is 12 rand and it's so beautiful and chic. So like even you know next to the door when you put your keys in or whatever. So really really love these. And yeah so that's kind of my theory is instead of buying a whole set of one thing that you get bored of quickly like I did with the plates. Instead of buying six of these and using them for five years and then once all of them are broken, eventually you buy a, a new set. Instead, I want to buy lots of different random things and that are 12 rand that you can replace after a while. And if your style changes, you can buy new ones and then it's not that expensive as buying an entire dinner set. You know what I mean? Because Palmer's theory is like, just buy one white dinner set that's got plates, side plates, bowls, you know, soup bowls, all of those things, all in one. So bad. Not happening. So this is a, a quite a small salad bowl that I got from Pip, uh, Pip Home in Somerset. I think it was like 35 Rand, um, but just very beautiful, very um, like old school, thick, chunky um, style. This um, platter plate I got from Pip in Somerset West as well. This was 27 Rand. Um, I also just like this if you're doing like um, crackers with cheese or dips or whatever, then you can lay them out on here. The only thing is like this doesn't match with this. So I'll have to either put this on that side of the table and this on that side of the table or ditto. Probably the price of all of these things put together. <laughs> I got this um, salad bowl from Taylor as a housewarming. Um, I love the, um, how do I show this? It's like taller on this side and shorter on this side. So the, the asymmetric, love that. And then the bamboo salad scoopies. Um, really, really like that. So that's cool. And the nice thing is like you don't only have to use this for salad like you can also put like chips and stuff in here like snacks and this I can use in my other salad bowl as well so win-win multi-purpose. Hey babe, so nice. name brand so it makes fancy toast. What brand is it Roxy? Berlinger House. Wow. This, is, this is for when you do squats then you it's a weight. <laughs> <laughs> Grant told me it's a photo brand. Can't believe everything goes. <laughs> Maybe it's just a middle. Bit. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I think we I think we needed this now. Yeah. <gasps> oh is the wait it's a, it's a grill pad! That's for steaks. This is for you. Just open, you don't need to melt that side. <laughs> the other side. Never mind, I'm just obviously just pouring. It's excitement. It's like in my mind. Trust issues. Barbecue rub. That's why it's so heavy. Whoa. Oh, it's a steak. <laughs> <laughs> it's a steak. <laughs> Oh wow! Oh nice. <laughs> nice. Sorry guys, this is not for tonight. This is for date night. Thanks for the rum stick. This is for when me and Papa are fighting, <laughs> then I can. Got that on camera? Like just, just put it here. Yeah. Like I'm not gonna feel anything. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, 
Bye, donkey. Thank you. Look at your cute jersey. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the photo frame, Grod. Keep me high up off my